Things are getting intense in the South China Sea as tensions between China and the Philippines reach a boiling point. The South China Sea, with its vast reserves of oil and natural gas and crucial shipping routes, has become the stage for an ongoing territorial dispute between the Philippines and China. Coast Guard BRP Malabrigo MRRV 4402. With each country claiming the region as its own, in recent times, the situation has taken a more dangerous turn. Join us as we explore the dynamic landscape of this conflict and the recent developments that have brought it to the forefront of international attention and the implications it holds for the future of the South China Sea and the rest of the world. As the pressure mounts and both sides stand their ground, the world watches on, eager to witness the unfolding events of this gripping face-off. The South China Sea holds immense strategic significance, containing abundant reserves of oil and natural gas, as well as serving as a vital transportation route for global shipping. However, this region has become the epicenter of a long-standing territorial dispute between the Philippines and China, and the situation has reached a breaking point. For years, tensions have been simmering between these two nations, but recent events have ignited the flame, intensifying the struggle for dominance in the South China Sea. China, driven by its quest for power and influence, has asserted its claims over nearly the entire region, aiming to establish a strong grip on this valuable region. However, the Philippines, steadfast in its commitment to protecting its rights and interests, has boldly stood against China's encroachments, setting the stage for a high-stakes face-off. Despite being smaller and having less firepower, the Philippine Navy displayed incredible courage and determination in the face of its enemies. They were unwavering in their mission to protect their nation's interests, regardless of the risks involved. And despite all odds, they emerged victorious, sending a powerful message to China and the world. But hold on, the battle may be won, but the war for control over the South China Sea is far from over. The Philippines, though a small nation, has proven that its navy is a force to be reckoned with. As tensions continue to escalate in the South China Sea, the world will be eagerly watching to see how this epic struggle unfolds. The Philippine Coast Guard, PCG, has reported an intense encounter between two of its ships and the Chinese Navy in the disputed South China Sea. The incident happened at a location known as the Second Thomas Shoal, which has been a constant source of tension between the Philippines and China. The PCG has accused the Chinese Coast Guard, CTG, of engaging in unsafe maneuvers. According to a statement released by the Philippine Coast Guard on Friday, the initial encounter occurred on April 21st when a Chinese Navy vessel intercepted the Coast Guard boats about 7 nautical miles 13 kilometers, away from Pagasa Island. This island, also known as Thitu Island, is located in the disputed Spratly Islands and has been under Philippine control since the 1970s. It is currently home to around 400 people. In recent years, the Philippines has been increasing its naval presence in the South China Sea, resulting in several face-to-face -face encounters with Chinese vessels. The main dispute between the Philippines and China revolves around territorial rights in certain areas of the South China Sea. The Philippines claims that the region falls within its exclusive economic zone, EEZ, based on the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, which grants countries an EEZ of 200 nautical miles from their coastlines. On the other hand, China argues that it has historical sovereignty over almost the entire South China Sea. To safeguard its sovereignty and uphold its rights under international law, the Philippines has been increasing its naval presence in the South China Sea. However, this has resulted in direct conflicts with China, which has responded with its own display of strength. The Philippine Coast Guard, PCG, recently reported a confrontation with a Chinese corvette, where the Chinese vessel demanded the PCG ships to leave, warning of potential trouble if they didn't comply. The PCG ships, on the other hand, stood their ground, asserting their right to conduct operations in the territorial sea of Pagasa Island. They also requested the Chinese Navy to depart. A similar incident occurred near Second Thomas Shoal, also known as a Yungan Shoal, a couple of days later. According to the PCG, two Chinese Coast Guard, CCG ships intercepted the PDG ships using aggressive tactics. 
One of the CCG ships performed dangerous maneuvers at a perilously close distance of only 46 meters. This proximity posed a significant threat to the safety and security of the Philippine vessel and its crew. Additionally, the second CCDG ship closely monitored the movements of the other PCG ship from a distance of about 640 meters. China firmly asserts its control over almost the entire South China Sea, ignoring an international court ruling that favored the Philippines. The court found that China's claim lacked historical evidence and also discovered that China's actions violated several articles of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLOSE, which pertain to safety and navigation at sea. These violations became apparent after the events at Scarborough Shoal in 2012. Lau Morris, a senior fellow for foreign policy and national security at the Asia Society Policy Institute Center for China Analysis, confirmed these findings. Despite the 2016 verdict, China has continued to expand its military outposts and deploy fishing fleets, maritime militia, and Coast Guard in order to maintain its claim over the South China Sea. The Philippine Coast Guard, PCG, recently reported that during their week-long patrol of the shoals and surrounding features in the West Philippine Sea, they encountered over 100 alleged Chinese maritime militia vessels. This ongoing dispute extends beyond China and the Philippines, as other countries such as Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan also assert their claims in the South China Sea. In a separate incident, the Philippines accused China of using a powerful laser against one of its vessels during a resupply mission at 2nd Thomas Shoal. The complaint was filed, highlighting the location of the shoal, which is approximately 195 kilometers 121 miles, northwest of the Philippine province of Palawan in the disputed Spratly Islands. It is noteworthy that the Philippine soldiers stationed there reside on a deteriorated vessel from the Second World War called the Sierra Madre, deliberately grounded there in 1999 to strengthen the Philippines' claim to the island chain. Moreover, Chinese Coast Guard patrols have engaged in tense altercations with Vietnamese vessels near crucial Vietnamese gas and oil fields. Similarly, tensions have been escalating with Malaysia's Kasawari Gas Development Project. The Asia Maritime Transparency Initiative has reported on these developments. This ongoing territorial dispute between the Philippines and China has the potential to escalate into a larger conflict. To safeguard its freedom, the Philippines has been increasing its naval presence in the region, leading to face-to-face -to -face encounters with Chinese vessels. The legal justifications for each country's claims the strategic importance of the region, and the potential implications for the Philippines, China, and the rest of the world make this issue a matter that requires significant attention. Now, what do you think about this issue between China and Philippines? Just leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, do you know how the US has developed new Iron Man suits for its Navy to impose its dominance? How did the US develop such advanced technology into their new suits? How will this change the course of naval warfare? Well, to know more about that, you need to click on this video right here. That would be all for this video. Click this to learn more about these amazing US suits that are dominating the seas. So what are you doing? Click it now.